Hi friends, uh, today we have Vaishali. She secured all India rank 37 in the Indian Forest Examination 2022. And she's also working as an agriculture officer in Tamil government. And today uh, she will provide her uh, valuable inputs for the uh, preparation of agriculture botany for the Indian Forest Examination. Uh, welcome, Vaishali. Good evening, sir. Good evening, yeah. Um, actually, you are one of the great inspiration for. Uh, those who are pre preparing for the examination while working in your job, right? Um, so I know that uh, in Tamil Nadu government, especially in agriculture department, it's very difficult to get leave. But how did you manage that? Well, uh, so you while preparing for examination, you are also running for job. So how did you manage that? Sir, it was uh, a long struggle, to be honest, very mm -hmm. honest. And that is why it took uh, um, even more years to get to this position. So if I'm preparing full time, maybe I would have got it even before. Mm -hmm. But uh, preparing time, you have to squeeze in time so that after the work hours or I have to uh, complete my targets early or I have to work for more hours and then come uh, do with my preparation. Correct. So it was difficult. But uh, it is not impossible, sir. It is definitely manageable. You can do it. But with the sheer grit and determination, you can do anything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, Shelly. Yeah, first, um, so let's start with the, uh, the interview experience. Um, so, yes. you know, IFS yeah, interview mostly, it's a, since it's a specialist examination, so in interview, mostly they ask questions related to the technical area and the, the factual questions. So what are the, some of the questions uh, that you uh, faced in the interview? Sir, with regard to Forest Service interview, there were uh, mm. four uh, chairmen and three members, mm. um, which is in uh, contrast to the... Um, civil services interview and uh, in one chairman was focusing on the general questions like the place i was born in and uh, generalist my hobby section and things and there was another member who was entirely focused on international relations and the other member was forest technical person who asked me questions regarding agroforestry flash and burn type of agriculture and all other things and another member was uh, full on the agriculture and botany um, technical aspects they asked me a few questions regarding, uh, it was like two markers questions that we write in exams. Like what is the difference between embryo and endosperm and mm. recalcitrant seeds? And what is the difference between fertilization and pollination? And they asked me uh, what is apomixis. So okay. most of the questions I was not able to remember there. And uh, I told them that I'm aware of this. Uh, I did not uh, deny it outrightly that I don't know, sir. I just used some other way of expressing like uh, at present i'm not able to remember sir and i have heard of this term i've read this term but i'll definitely look back into it the way you approach the interview board that's all. i think uh, you got a very good mark in the interview you can start with the, the, the conventional question so how to prepare for uh, the agricultural botany whether it's manageable or uh, we need any exclusive preparation for ifos or uh, is it sufficient to uh, the csc preparation alone sufficient to prepare for ifos also sir with regard to agriculture uh, the mm. same, I just went on with the same preparation that I had with my CSE. I just revised mm. it once and then I went with. So it is manageable for uh, agriculture, sir. We have to just put in more efforts for botany. So I concentrated, I devoted the little time that I had entirely on botany. Mm. So as you all know, botany has two papers and first paper is entirely different and has a very vast syllabus. And paper two is um, like overlap with agriculture paper two which we know just in-depth um, understanding in certain topics. So uh, I just took some five days for paper two in botany and I did score well in that. For the first paper, uh, it took me so long time sir, to cover the, all the areas. But uh, it was very yeah. difficult to manage it and the question, the question is also questions are also very tough. Sir. Okay, so what are the uh, references you uh, referred to from botany? The reference books or um, internet sources? Sir, as I had very less time, I just focused mm. mainly on PYQ. I have a, I just had, took it from the online sources that the compilations of PYQs. I got it my friends and I used it as solely as the base of my preparation. And also I just, to simplify and understand the complex uh, terms, I refer to Tamil Nadu state board books, 11th and 12th botany yeah. books entirely. And there is also a book which is uh, mostly uh, referred to by many other uh, aspirants, R. Gupta, which, mm. is, uh, which is given in a detailed manner. But many of the questions and answers are missing out in that. 
so one cannot entirely depend on that book and one should also extensively refer uh, internet and the pyqs uh, the pyqs is more than enough is what i feel so. there might be some questions here and there away from the pyqs but you can manage it as we have option options okay right yeah, but the three months is sufficient to sir, cover uh, bot uh, uh, i also refer to uh, pavan kumar jong sir's note he was the topper mm-hmm. in previous year and he has a, a quiz material which is not covering in pyqs alone just the overall subject he has a pavan kumar jong which is available on telegram channel okay okay good good yes. right yeah so whether the three months time is pretty is enough to prepare for iofis so the between the uh, csc mains and the iofis mains so many people think it is very difficult to um, manage um, the the limited amount of time but for agriculture optional people it is very easy is what i feel because when i can do it with full time job and uh, uh, doing all the uh, preparation anyone with a full time preparation can definitely do it one can just devote time for um, especially when someone is giving csc mains and forestry mains already the gk paper and uh, the agriculture paper would be taken care of so one has to just take and take care of the english part which the yes. grammar and idioms phrases part and that will be more sufficient and the botany sec- first paper alone sir so second paper it is not an issue at all yes yeah. so we can definitely manage it oh, yes yeah. so what are the uh, books for in- general english paper um, because you scored very high marks in the general english also so what are the books you referred for general english any single uh, material for general english sir i asked a few seniors and they just told me to go with ren and martin i i mm. did, did not get that book i just went on with uh, there is a channel on telegram apur sir mm. who got rank mm. 11 in the last year so he just uh, compiled every notes and uh, it is everything is available on his channel and uh, idioms phrases and mm. uh, youtube channels and every reference he has given a detailed strategy i just completely relied on what he gave me so it was a uh, high benefit to cost ratio when compared to reading some very big big books so it's about smart work and not hard work is what i think yes. okay right yeah so um, so how agriculture is useful for your botany preparation sir as we already discussed i told you that uh, the second paper is uh, overlapping most of the it, is, it covers nearly 75% of um, agriculture second paper covers 75% of botany second paper so one doesn't have to devote more time even if one is struggling with paper 1 the other three papers of agriculture 1 and 2 and botany second paper you can score well and compensate for the loss of the botany paper 1 so that is how agriculture will be useful in botany sir. regarding the uh, notes making and the, uh, so how the diagrams uh, notes making they are useful in our preparation okay for bot- because both are science subjects static one okay so agriculture botany uh, almost related agriculture applied science and botany is pure science so how important these are uh, the diagrams notes making value addition so what are the things you do uh, in your preparation so notes making i felt it to be very important in botany rather than in agriculture in botany there are so many diagrams especially with, this, with respect to gymnosperms and angiosperms section one has to draw so many diagrams so it is very confusing also between the species and the family so if one is trying to or also there is no one single note uh, notes for um, source for botany uh, things so it is better if we take our own notes based on the pyqs and cover it uh, especially the diagram parts if someone makes it small small diagrams it will be very useful and come in handy in the exam in botany paper 1 mostly it deals with um, diagrams in paper 2 it comes with cycles so with regard to cycles i did not go with the uh, complex cycles and things i just refer to tamil nadu textbooks which is simple and comp- uh, which is very simple cycles and i took notes of those and i just went with that because revising those notes is very very important at this time of preparation yes correct so uh, many students are recently they are clearing uh, the aggregate and botany optional and uh, recently last year also there are so many uh, students who cleared with aggregate optional it's getting popular recently but still many students are hesitant to take aggregate optional right but uh, students like you okay, they are uh, your uh, inspiration for uh, and uh, encouraging factor okay for other students uh, to take this agriculture and botany combination 
so thank you for this video vishalin uh, i hope uh, you actually you are appearing mains also this year csc mains also so i wish you all success yes. in your uh, csc mains yeah thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you thank you thank vishalin. you for the opportunity sir